Hey everybody, this is B Sports. Today we're looking at a 2016 Lund 1650 Rebel XS. Has the SS console in it. Boat is 16 foot 6 inches long. Has an 84 inch beam. We'll walk around here, we'll take a look at the exterior of the boat and the trailer. So obviously this one's in black. It's got a Shorelander trailer. It's got a swing tongue and a non-marking bow roller. Got Lund logos on either side of the trailer. LED lights. So this one's got a 50 horse Mercury four stroke. All right, we'll hop up in. We'll take a look at everything inside. We'll start at the front here and we'll kind of work our way back. So all the Rebel 650s, excuse me, 1650s, uh, they get electronics on them. They come like that uh, from Lund. And so you got a power drive, Minn Kota power drive, and you also get a Lowrance fish finder, which we'll get to in a second here. So anyhow, here's the bow area of the boat. You have carpet on top of all the uh, storage bins in the side of the boat, and then vinyl flooring in the floor, the main floor of the boat. Up in front, you have this kind of open storage area, and then it's got that snap cover that goes over it. It's a good place for ropes. They don't get uh, covered or mildewy or anything like that. It keeps a little airflow in there. And then you've got your 12 volt for the trolling motor to the left of that. <clears throat> Up here next to where the trolling motor is, you obviously have the horn mounted. All right, we'll take a look inside these uh, storage bins here. So one thing that's nice about the Rebel uh, as you bump up from the Fury. The Fury has a similar storage bin set up in the front. However, the, the doors on the Fury open towards the center of the boat as opposed to towards the rails of the boat. Um, not really a huge inconvenience, but they sort of have to balance on each other. And that seat has to be out of the way where with this setup, if you've got the seat in there, you can open you can open the uh, storage containers to the outside of the boat. So obviously I've got the bait bucket sitting in here, but it does pass through under that seat base. And then you've got vinyl floor in there. All right, so we'll take, kind of move back here. So back on the left side, you have the live well. Gotta take a look in there. Over in front of the console, another storage area, again with the vinyl floor. So then as you come back to the center of the boat, and you've got your locking lid for the storage compartment for your rods. Hold five rods. And then the lid also has your gas shocks on it so that it will stay up. And then under this cover, you have your trays for your trolling motors. So, put that back in there. Continue looking here. So you can put your trolling motors in there and then you can kind of set something under the rods if need be. So we'll move kind of to the console area of the boat. Take a look at that. Again, you've got your Lowrance fish finder that comes with it. So you got your speedometer, fuel gauge, and your tack. To the right of the wheel, 12 volt outlet. And then you have your switch panel and all the fuses for those functions. So they're labeled what fuses they are. Obviously for whatever switch is above them. You have your interior lights, your bilge pump, your aerator, your navigation lights, and your master power switch. Horns right under that. With all these boats having a master power switch, um, 
kind of a helpful thing you don't you don't realize until you need it but you flip that off you know that there's no power going to anything at the end of the night so you know that when you come out in the morning you're not going to have any issues with your boat your battery being dead so we'll kind of take a look here at the seats black and gray leather they do fold down for when you need to put the cover on the boat so on the left side, we're going to take a look at this storage compartment here. Kind of extends up under that cup holder. And then same setup on the right side of the boat. So if we look at the back, again, you got a cup holder on either side. Open this up. Just a general storage compartment. And then on the other side is the tray for the crank battery. All right, so we'll step out of the boat, take one last look at the exterior. So again, this is a 2016 Lund 1650 Rebel XS with the SS console. If you have any questions about the boat, leave us a comment. We try to get to them as soon as we can. Like and subscribe. We got 2016 boats coming in every day. We're taking videos of just about all of them. Or you can always give us a call 1-800-233-7720. Or you can check out our website at www.bees-sports.com. Thanks a lot.